toxicity and the negative shit that said, I know I can't never be with her again. So he like, man, I just, the shit bothering me because it's getting to the point where it's affecting the way we able to take care of the kids and shit. He was like, man, I try. He was like, man, I know I ain't perfect and shit and I know it's some shit I done did that's wrong and shit like that. But man, the shit she be saying to a nigga, man, that shit crazy, man. He like, man, sometimes I really be finding myself sitting around thinking, am I that bad of a nigga? Like, am I that bad of a person? Am I that bad of a father to make a bitch say some of the stuff that she say to me? So you know me, I'm like, well, what you mean? He was like, man, do you know this girl one time told me I was a fucking deadbeat because she had something to do and she called me to watch our daughter and called me on short notice and I had to work. Like a regular working job on the schedule. And because I couldn't watch her, like I'm told I'm a deadbeat. Anything that don't go by the beat of her tune, I get called all these names and shit. He was like, man, she don't understand, man, that shit hurt. Like, man, I don't say it, but, man, I be sitting around thinking, am I really a deadbeat? Like, am I that bad of a person? So, you know me, I'm like, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold up. Give me her phone number. I want her number. So, you know, in my mind, I'm knowing this nigga not finna give me his baby mama phone number because if he, bitch, went, after I get done talking to her, you probably will never get to see your kids. But in my mind, I'm just thinking, give me this bitch phone number. Because there's a whole bunch of confusion going on right now with black women. And we ain't really been told. So this is why it's going the way it's going. So I'm explaining to him, you got to understand where this shit is bred from and where it originates from with black women. We don't understand the power that our mouth do because we don't understand the damage that it do to the black man because y'all don't say it. So the stuff that you breaking down in this conversation that you saying to me, I know that you would never say it to her. I know that you would never would give her the satisfaction of telling her that you sit around and you really do question whether you a good man because of the things that she say. And the stuff that she say matters so much because it is somebody that you got feelings for and you cared about and that you got children from. So fuck it. Fuck it. I say it for these niggas. Since a nigga won't come out and say it, I say it for you. So this is from love to the other black women. And before I say this shit, I'm finna make it clear. I'm not talking to the baby mamas and the females that got the real deadbeats. I'm not talking to you. So don't get on my fucking videos with the comments about what about the ones that never do nothing. I'm not talking about y'all. So the ones with the baby daddies that never call, never come by, never try, you don't see them, they don't try to see their kids, the ones that did not, I'm not talking about them. Fuck them. I'm not talking about them right now. So don't don't come on here with that. I'm not talking about the mamas that's really struggling to take care of their kids and need help and assistance from I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about for the ones that damn near argue with a nigga on a daily basis about the nigga not jumping to the beat of they tune to do every little thing. I'm talking about the ones that got baby daddies that's willing to help if your mouth wasn't so fucking vile when it comes to them as a man and everything that they do in this shit. This man got to go to work. He got to go to work. But because he got to work and he can't jump when you say he, he need to jump. Now he a deadbeat. Let me tell you something, bitch. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you whole something that don't understand what the fuck's been done to our people. The reason why you bitches is so quick to tell a nigga they a deadbeat and talk about what they don't do is because y'all conditioned to think that fucking way. So y'all might be saying, hmm, what do that mean, love? How the fuck I'm conditioned? Reason why you bitches is conditioned, point, case in point, fucking assistance. How do you bitches get to get assistance? The way you hoes get to get assistance is the government tell you when you sign up to get fucking food stamps and shit. They tell you. You cannot have a nigga living in the household with you in order to get stamps and assistance for you and your kids. You can't have a nigga in the household. You can't get cash assistance if a nigga in the household that actually work too. If you got a job and you working and making some decent money, you can't get no fucking assistance. You can't get housing with the $12 rents if a nigga living with you. So what you got to do? You got to put the black man out. You got to put this man out in order for the government to become your kid's daddy. And you think that's better. 
So instead of minding your motherfucking mouth when it comes to your baby daddy and working with this man and understanding that he ain't perfect like you ain't perfect and that he gonna have shortcomings and it's gonna be times that he ain't gonna come with the shit he said he's supposed to come with just like it's times that you don't come with the shit that you said you're supposed to come with but nobody don't know that you shortcoming because you ran everybody the fuck off out the household. So you in this house, bitch, with this $12 fucking rent because you done rent the nigga off. So you in here playing mommy and daddy to these kids. You convinced that the kids don't need nobody but your motherfucking ass. When in all reality, you don't know everything it takes to be a parent. But you think you do. Okay, so you don't rent your baby.